I can start? Yes, please do. Okay, so my talk is about uh, scaling down web mapping. That, in my opinion, means uh, choosing the tool that is best for your needs, uh, whatever your needs may be. I imagined a couple of scenarios to describe you better what I mean. Uh, let's say that you are a, a content writer of some sort, uh, but you want to include also maps in your articles in addition to the usual text, uh, images, and videos. Another use case, you are a web developer, and uh, you are developing an application that is not a GIS application, but you want to include uh, an interactive web, web map to better uh, include some geolocation data. In both cases, in my opinion, you will need uh, probably to scale down what are the usual solutions for web mapping that you may be uh, aware of. Uh, for the content writer, for example, you want your map to be to load and show as quickly as the rest of the content. And if you are a web developer, uh, you probably want to implement maps uh, uh, without having to spend too much time and effort to learn something new, new technologies and stuff like that. So for, for every problem, there is a broad spectrum of different solutions. You may find on the left uh, a kind of solution that is uh, very feature-rich, but probably also complex and divvy in some sort. On the right, another kind of approach, uh, more agile, more simple, but probably less feature-rich. And depending on what your needs are, both may be your solution. For example, if you need to cook something, there is a tool that is best for this job. And if you want to eat the same food, probably another tool is the best one. Obviously, there are some exceptions. Let's come back to maps. What is the best tool for cooking maps? I have a little bias, but in my opinion, could be Mapstor or something very similar to Mapstor that includes a map composer that let you, lets you cook your maps. It also includes an SDK, so a framework to develop applications with your maps. But uh, my question is, is also the best tool for viewing maps? OK, uh, Lighthouse has something to say about this. Yeah, I try to use map, uh, Mapstore as a simple viewer. And this is the performance index that Lighthouse tells me Mapstore as, as a map viewer. Probably I would like to do better. So how can I do something that gives you this kind of result instead? OK, in this month, I thought uh, about how to accomplish the, this uh, goal. And I built a proof of concept. And it came a, a little project came out that I called it Mappette. This is something that Italians can understand, probably not Italian-speaking people not. And uh, it has some interesting features, in my opinion. Uh, first of all, it's very essential. It depends on a very limited uh, amount of uh, external dependencies. And this has been uh, done mainly by leveraging modern browser capabilities that are very different from the ones that we had some years ago. And other features of the project are that it's compatible at the API level with Map Store but not reusing the same code. As I said, it's just a proof of concept. Obviously, it's not a project that is ready for production, but it was used to demonstrate uh, the possibility to have uh, a different tool for a specific uh, use case that existing uh, complex solutions probably are not uh, able to. Uh, with this project, I tried to build a couple of examples. One is a viewer for Map Store context. The other one is a composer to build uh, PDFs from maps. And that's basically it, since I don't have more time. So uh, my last uh, uh, takeaway is that uh, it is possible, and it is desirable, in my opinion, to build tools around an existing ecosystem where Map Store is in the center, but other tools can be built around it. And if you, if you are interested in uh, these kind of topics, these is, are the links of the projects. These are my contacts. Please get in touch. That's all. Thank you, Mauro. Thank you.